what's up it's me Lloyd here from the newwayfitness.com today I want to do a health and vlog update for my health wellness and fitness this is basically the last eight months of my workout plan my weights uh, body weight going up and down things like that and uh, also I'm gonna talk about my one rep max numbers and kind of like my strength levels so first things first this is a spreadsheet I'm using called TDEE 3.0 you can find this on Google. Just type in TDEE 3.0 in Sun spreadsheet. Should be one of the first two links. You download this, you save it to your Google Drive, and uh, you start putting in the numbers. So I started this uh, May 12, 2018, about eight months ago. Two of those months, I didn't really work out consistently. In August and September, I didn't work out consistently. So, you know, this is really six months of consistent. Uh, exercise and tracking weights and trying to get heavier so let's see here when I first got this uh, spreadsheet I didn't really know where to put the numbers and, and stuff so I didn't know if you were supposed to weigh yourself once a week and then just copy the number for each little cell here or if you were supposed to do it every day eventually I figured out that it was every day and uh, I started changing it so my scale broke on this week, the week of July 21st, and I got a new scale like a couple days later. And since then, the new scale's been working good, and my weight picked up a lot uh, during the first like one to two months of doing this program, which is called first things off the program that I'm doing is called Insun 531. I've talked about it before. You can find it on Google on the Reddit. If you subscribe to that Reddit, it's got about 20,000 people there and uh, you'll be able to talk to others, share your ideas and things. And I've, I've posted on there and gotten some feedback on ac accessory movements and things I wanted to do there. So it's a pretty good area of information. I've been doing this program for about six months, pretty much since I started the spreadsheet in May. And uh, it's a hard workout. It's a mutated version of Windler's 531 that takes a whole volume uh, month and converts it into week. And instead of doing like sub, instead of doing maximal lifts, you're doing like sub maximal lifts, lots of reps, lots of sets, and you're getting a lot of good volume. Maybe not as much pure intensity as you would on a five by five, but you get tons and tons of volume. So uh, I've been responding well to the volume, it seems, and I'm glad. And everything's working pretty good. Workouts are hard. I started with the five day, then went to the six day for a bit, and now I'm back to the four day version. Just because uh, looking back on the previous days and previous months, I've been consistent at four days a week lifting weights instead of five days and six days like I've wanted to. So I figure if I'm consistently hitting four days, then I might as well try this four day a week uh, version itself. And then the other three days I'll do yoga for about 30 minutes one day and probably abs or uh, pull-ups, chin-ups, calisthenic work uh, that day on the other day. And then that third day I'll just do rest so uh, I've been using MyFitnessPal tracking all my calories, which I've been using MyFitnessPal for many years now. I've got almost a two-year streak for tracking every day. And, uh, you know, it's easy to do. It takes maybe like one to three minutes every time you have a meal that you log it in for your meal. And, you know, compared to some people swiping on Twitter, going through Twitter posts and memes and feeds of people that they enjoy, I pretty much am putting in all my food that I just ate. So... Maybe it takes 15, 20 minutes in a total day to add everything on my fitness pal. The other thing is with my exercise, I use the Personal Training Coach app. You can find it on the Play Store. I'm using the premium version. I paid 10 bucks for it, I think. It allows me to edit my workout plan, and it, see, it lets me see my warm-up sets and everything. And it's a great app. I really enjoy it. And I actually wanted to make an app like that, but someone already beat me to it, so props to them. I didn't know, and I still don't know how to make uh, you know apps like that so something I've wanted to do but somebody already came up and did the idea so I'm glad at least I found it and can use it um, so this is my weight I'm currently at 163.5 I've gained uh, about 17.5 pounds in the last eight months roughly it's not muscle or fat pure it's just weight gained you know a lot of it could be water weight a lot of it could be fat gains but there is some definite muscle in there as well um, my strength's gone up quite a bit since I got my power rack, and I'm happy for that. 
and let's go to I think the next picture that's pretty much everything I want to talk about in this um, this spreadsheet you basically you track your weight when you wake up go to the bathroom you weigh yourself on Sunday for example and then um, when Monday comes you look back on my fitness pal and look at Sunday's day for calories that you put that number total that you ate everything on Sunday you put that number in the Sunday's block and then you go on to Monday weigh yourself etc and each previous day you put in how much you ate that day for calories and so you can see some days I ate 3,000 calories like this one 3165 other days I had 2195 so you know I pretty much cook all my food or cook something in bulk like pasta and uh, things like that I don't really eat out I eat out maybe once every two weeks I have like you know fast food or pizza or something and everything else I pretty much cook so cooking all the food takes a bit of time the freezer doesn't work right now so everything is pretty much canned chicken canned tuna canned salmon pasta rice sandwiches peanut butter uh, things like that so that's pretty much what I'm eating next picture I want to talk about is my relative strength and weakness areas compared to other lifters at my weight and uh, the averages so it scores me as an intermediate, like just barely an intermediate, I believe. And that's basically due to my bench and overhead press levels of strength, which are a bit above average. They compensate for the below average uh, lower body that gives me the level of intermediate. Uh, but my numbers themselves for lower body are still novice. I believe it goes beginner, novice, intermediate, and then like advanced, and then like elite. But there is some subcategories in each of those. So. I don't train one rep maxes. The program I'm doing has me do like a 90% max one rep as many as possible like once a week or so. So these are estimated one rep maxes, not true one rep maxes, but they could be pretty close to what it would really be. Um, so as you can see here, my lower body is probably 6 to 20% below what it should be. Now these numbers aren't exact. There could be a 5 to 10% um, deviation on either side could be pro could be minus but it seems pretty pretty realistic to me if you want to get your own numbers and get a picture like this you go to symmetricstrength.com you put in your information on that site you hit analyze strength you'll have this pop up and then you just use a snipping tool or something and you can save it and look back on it that's what I plan to do at least so I'm looking at it here and I definitely see that I need to keep working on my back squats definitely increase my front squats and um, deadlift is getting better. It used to be a lot worse. So I'm glad I'm actually getting there with deadlift. And sumo deadlift uh, it's definitely needs to improve also. Now front squat and sumo deadlift I haven't done a lot of. So that's why they're still really far behind. But I've been doing those for the last six, six months or so. And um, the front squats I do is a tier 2 lift that I do after a deadlift day I believe so I do deadlift front squats and the front squats aren't like really heavy 90% uh, or 100% they're they're like a 70% and you do like eight or eight sets I believe and some sets you do seven reps I think last time I did it on this app I did 120 pound front squats for like seven reps and eight reps and it was like I couldn't even get eight reps in that day on uh, doing the set. Actually, let me open my app real, real quick on my phone. Just see if I can look at it. So this was uh, yesterday. So I did the deadlifts at 220. I did one, one set of two. So that was just one week of a deload too, because I, I did this four day version when before I was doing the six day version. So. Yesterday, the tier two lift was front squats, one set of five, one set of five, one set of three, one set of five, one set of supposed to be six, I could only do five, one set of four, and uh, one set of eight. So the 120 pounds, I could do three, five, five, four, and four. So those were a bit under. So front squats is hard for me. I definitely can get the depth, but it's just having that strength and keeping your, your back straight to, to push all the way back up and you know do eight reps was hard so those are the lower body that I'm working on improving 
and um, chin ups and pull ups. I've only really used 30 pounds for weighted chin ups and like 20 pounds for weighted pull ups, so I'm not sure how accurate that is. I, I probably could do a 45 pound weighted chin up. I've never done it before, but I've done three sets of five at 30 pounds, so it's probably pretty close. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Hopefully, uh, you guys can see a little bit of information about me and uh, you guys can see my weight you can see my strengths and weakness areas and that I'm still working out and trying to improve it each day so I wanted to show you guys a health update and I'll probably be doing these types of videos maybe like once a month at least if not sooner so thanks for watching have a good one take care